very fortunate and blessed to be able currently uh, to speak, coach, and train all over the world, Fortune 1,500 and 100 companies, and to have an opportunity. I'm going to be in Boston next Wednesday. Um, I just got done with the Navajo Nation. They called me up, and they were going, Coach V, would you come to Tuba City, Arizona, and be our keynote here in Tuba City? And I said, well, ma'am, if your check clears, Tell me, brother, going to be there. <laughs> That's how I do business. But Chris Jeremy and I have been doing uh, community work together for almost a decade. Uh, I am a public speaker, author, uh, coach the Fortune 500 companies, and entrepreneurs from millionaires to billionaires. I've done all that. I have a Hollywood radio show called the Coach V Show in Hollywood. But the only reason why I'm in the Hall of Fame in this city of Elk Grove, California, is what it is that I do in service. In which case that I serve people, but specifically with Invictus Youth Foundation, where we've had over 9,000 kids come through our doors for free in six sports. Snowboarding, skiing, basketball, volleyball, soccer, and football. I mean, you don't see many Polynesians snowboarding, right? I mean, look, and we're gonna be talking about some things like commitment. Repeat after me, say commitment. Commitment. I mean, look at me, I'm committed. I'm the skinniest Polynesian you have seen. All right, why y'all laughing? Why, why is that funny? Why that funny? Yeah, we got good food. Everybody got good food though. We just came back from 13 days in Croatia, never been there. Tonga brother love Croatia now, right? Went through Germany. Uh, we've been all over Central America, South America, Mexico, the Bahamas. And this is what I found to be a connective tissue with everybody, is that we're all human. But I find this to be very particular for us, that everywhere it is that I've been, I've found that the missing link is two things. One, people quit really easily because it's fucking hard to be successful. Say real talk. Real talk. Repeat, repeat after me, say hashtag. 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 Say real talk. real talk. The other part is they're not in the United States of America. I came here, we came here on vacation, very well off family in Tonga. Parents decided to stay here, so we went through filing for our citizenship. I became a resident alien in 1985 in Pomona, California, and in 2010, while coaching for the Boise State Broncos at BSU, I became an American citizen. And I say that for the fact that there's a lot of politics going on. And you know, there's Democrats, there's Republicans, there's independents, but you know, your boy Coach V, I'm a capitalist. <laughs> I'm with all parties and I know this, if it's gonna make me some cheddar and my family can eat in the yeah. United States of America, I'm all in on that. And before I go on, I wanna uh, introduce quickly the number one reason. Who knows that the number one reason for our success outside of ourselves is our spouse. Mm -hmm. yes. And if you've been divorced uh, multiple times, like many of you have, and uh, <laughs> misery is what you subscribe to, because uh, that's just the, the human form, man. Like, things happen, right? The number one person in our success is our spouse and my wife, who's an award-winning labor and delivery nurse, very uh, similar to the Heisman Trophy uh, in, in football, college football, and she's a two-time Daisy Award-winning nurse. My wife in the back. All right, so we're going to get going here. Chris, thank you so much. Uh, so thank you for the opportunity to come here and serve here today. If you are taking notes, write this down. Here's a word, serve. And write down this Coach B quote, too. If serving is below you, high-level success, and leadership is above you too. Say hashtag, <laughs> say real talk. real talk. Some people call this a sales gimmick, a sales ploy, but it is not. People can actually tell if you genuinely care about their welfare and well-being. Say hashtag, hashtag. Real, talk. real talk. Now say this though, but let me caveat that with this. Write down this Coach B quote and, and repeat it first. Say more money. Money. No, not more, mo. More. More. More, more money, more, more problems. More problems. Say no money, no money. bigger problems. <laughs> Say hashtag, hashtag. Real, talk. real talk. So today I'm gonna be uh, presenting to you really quickly for just about, I got about 24 minutes and 38 seconds. 
that we just visit on a notion and a concept that I teach all over the world and to my clients via Zoom, right? It's called empowerment to success. Repeat after me. Say empowerment, empowerment to, success. to success. So as you have to figure out the basic fundamentals to your industry, how it is that you create relationships. Here's another Coach B quote in terms of relationships. Write this down. There's money in the transaction, but the wealth is in the relationships. Oh, yeah. That's a Coach B quote. You can find my book on Amazon. It's called Life Champion. Life Lessons That Yield Championship Results. Because winning never gets old and losing absolutely sucks. <laughs> Say hashtag. hashtag. Say real talk. real talk. So this ETS, write that down in your notes. Empowerment to success. Though you have to figure out the rates, the basic fundamentals to what it is that you do in life, leadership, and business. That you keep your marriage in the forefront of your mind and you make sure that your kids right, have a legacy because of their destiny that you equip them, not as their fucking best friend, but as their steward so that they can become, do, and achieve what they want in life, leadership, and business. Shit. That's a lot of shit. <laughs> and that's why I make a lot of money. Because people don't know how to do it, so they hire your boy to help them do this. Right, here's a basic premise of empowerment to success. Repeat after me. Say, become effective and efficient. Because Say to become effective and efficient in the achievement of my success. Then translate that success, then translate that success into joy, into joy, joy peace, peace, happiness, happiness fulfillment, 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 love, love and, family time. and family time. And then say most success, most and success. some more money. More money. Say, Show me my money. Say it, say it. No, I don't feel that. Say, show me my money. Show me my money. Now say, give me my money. Give me my money. And now say it, more money. More money. More problems. More problems. No money. No money. Bigger problems. Bigger problems. Say hashtag. Hashtag. Real talk. Real talk. So can I talk some real talk for the next 17, 18 minutes? Yes. So here's the notion. Empowerment. The self-granting. You need to know the basic fundamentals. You need to know what the laws, rules, regulations, processes, protocols, procedures, and what it is that you do for money. But if you don't know yourself, you will be lacking in being effective and efficient. You will lack in the faith and the audacity that's going to take that when you fucking fail, you will quit versus keep on going. Or oh, is that too real for y'all this morning? <laughs> Say hashtag. 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 Real talk. Real talk. The self-granting. Say it. The self-granting. The self-granting. Permission and authority. Permission and authority. To do, become, and achieve. To do, and become, and achieve. What I want. What I want. In life, leadership, and business. In life, leadership, and business. To claim my rights. To claim my rights. And take control of my life. And take control of my life. Shit, that's some hard shit right there. <laughs> that is audacious. But why not us? Why not? Here's the first question. It's not what it is that you need to do. The number one question is who? And that who, ladies and gentlemen, is you. The number one person that is getting in terms of roadblocks and fears and being, oh my gosh, fuck the haters. Your own self-doubt will stop you from doing shit that your haters can never do. So that's what I coach. I coach people and companies, organizations from the inside out. And I coach little kids this every day. I just don't cuss as much when I'm there. <laughs> right? Say this. Say I. I. Nope, I can't hear you. Say I. I. Believe in me. Believe in me. Say what I believe. What I believe. Will be. Will be. Say respect all. Respect Say all. fear nothing. Fear nothing. Say I will not be bullied. I will not be bullied. And the bully will not be me. And the bully will not be me. Say I believe in me. I believe in me. And say what I believe. What I believe will be. Will be. It's not just for kids or can some grown folks learn from that right there. Okay, come on, tap on your table if you know what I'm saying. It's true. Tap on your table. Now this is the this is the main reason why your boy went from not being able to be booked for free. I was a football coach at Boise State University. I played football here at UC Davis as a walk-on 23-year-old sophomore. Shit, as a sophomore, I was the oldest dude on the fucking team. Right at 23. I graduated at 27. 
right? So these are some things that I teach, coach, and train. But what I'm going to share with you isn't just my juice. This is what life, leadership, and business says to us all. But this is also what I have learned from the Fortune 500 and 100 companies that I coach. Repeat after me. Say empowerment, empowerment. to success. To success. Oh, you're learning. This is why your boy makes 50 racks. I went from not being able to be booked to speak for fucking free to making 50 racks for an eight hour presentation a day. Wow. Why? Because in the United States of America, you can do become and achieve anything it is you want if you do not quit. And I it don't work that way because Coach B says so. No, this is how life, leadership, and business works in the United States of America. If you don't get it, it ain't nobody's fault but you. But is the shit hard? Hell yeah. Yes. Do the rates suck? Hell yeah. Do the, do the feds keep messing with my money? Hell yeah, they are. <laughs> right? But it is what it is. Go try to do what you do in North Korea. Mm. <laughs> okay, come on, women. Go try to do, become an chief. Wear whatever you want. Say whatever you want in the Arab nations. Oh, All shit. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> but here... That's why I'm not a Tongan American. I am an American that comes from the island of Tongan. This is the place. This place is special. You can do, become, and achieve whatever it is that you want. And I can go to my next slide, but what we're going to do is we're going to keep this thing moving because I already memorized the whole presentation. That makes me the number one engagement speaker in the world that is here for free. Yeah. You ain't got to pay today, but when you call me up to be your coach, it going to cost you. <laughs> Say, hashtag, real talk. When you call me to be your keynote, it's free today, but when you call me, it going to cost you. But who knows this? Hey, game, recognize game. Say, repeat after that. Say, game, game. recognize game. game. Don't nobody pay for shit that's not valuable. And I learned that too, that when I charge a billionaire $1,000 an hour to coach them, they think that shit ain't worth nothing. Well, but when you charge a billionaire $3,333 $3, an hour, they're like, oh shit, this dude must be teaching something. Because wow. even rich people and billionaires, they want shit for free. Because <laughs> in America, once you're super valuable and you got clout and you make money, you ain't got to pay for shit. But when you dirt poor, you part of that 17%. <laughs> that is not the 17% that can afford to buy a house today. Say hashtag. Hashtag. Real talk. Real talk. So I got about 12 minutes. Can I share with you five things? Yes. yes. Hey, what does the Roman numeral B stand for? Five. Five. Repeat after me, say power five. Power five. Say coach V. Coach v. Now repeat my whole name after me. Say Billy Amit the fuck out top L Lava Two about. Just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. You might get injured just trying to do that right there. So they call me Coach V. Today I'm gonna go over five things. Repeat after me. Say mindset. Write it down. Mindset. Repeat after me, say mindset. Mindset. Say emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. Say emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. Very good. Say performance. Performance. Say perspective. Perspective. Say effective communication. Effective communication. So this is what it is. And so I knew this from championship football of going 125 wins and 18 lessons in 11 years of NCAA football. That's whipping ass and taking names. That's what that is. 125 wins and 18 lessons in 11 years. That's what that is. So then I look for the basic fundamentals from every corporate company that has great processes and protocols, that has a great culture. Like people show up to work like me. I only had a half a cup of coffee. You should see me when I have a full cup of coffee. <laughs> right? People are like, Coach B, we're with Red Bull. We want to sponsor you. You see my ass without Red Bull? <laughs> if I drink Red Bull, my ass will have a seizure. Shit. Right? <laughs> they create a culture where people want to come to work. That leadership shows that they have a genuine interest in welfare and the well-being of the people that bring them their money. That they don't just talk about profitability, P&Ls, and what the rates are. But, hey, how are the kids? How are you and the wife doing? Just saw you guys did 17-year anniversary in Croatia. How was that? How's Junior, my Junior, how's Junior doing with, with football? Oh, he's playing regular football now? How's Susan Mella doing uh, uh, at the volleyball team? My daughter was crushed when she didn't make, as a 5'3 outside hitter, she's the shortest outside hitter in America. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Usually these girls are like 5'10 plus in high school, at a minimum. Wow. Well, who am I to be Coach B? And he, she go, man, Dad, all the, the coaches, they think I'm just a defensive player in the back row because I'm short. Well, shit, baby, just don't talk about it, be about it. When you start having these conversations, listening and creating culture, this is what happens, right? High profitability, higher retention. People love coming to work. They actually tell people that they love and consider a value to come and join. Be a preferred member. This is going to be great for us, right? That's how this works. And what happens when you become empowered is that what it is you used to chase now starts chasing and be attracted to you. Mm. I mean, look at this, uh, this tongue and brother. I'm okay, good looking, man, but you see my wife? Uh-uh, I had to be empowered to attract something like that into my life. <laughs> oh my goodness, you don't get no high quality beauties that can make money on their own and got their own standards and expectations unless you're something of value. Yes. Say yes or no? Yes. yes. Say mindset. Mindset. So this is what I think about mindset, it's a poem. Right? And write down this poem. You can look it up on Google and it goes like this. If you think you're beaten, you are. Yeah. And if you think you dare not, you don't. And if you like to win, but think you can't, it's almost certain you won't. If you think you lose, you've lost, but out of the world you find. You see, success begins with the person's will. A champion, state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are, because you have to think high to rise. You have to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Because life's battles don't always go to the strongest woman or man. But sooner or later, the one who wins is the one who thinks they can. Repeat after me, say, I can, I, can. I, must. I must, I will, I will. I'll, be. I'll be all that I want to achieve. Say, why not me? Why not me? Say, champion. champion. Say, beautiful, beautiful. handsome, handsome. Smart. Smart. smart, intelligent. intelligent. Now say, show me my money. Show, show me my money. Hey, I didn't just watch a fucking YouTube video and woke up to them and go, hey, guys, let's be well. Let's go out and win. No, what I'm talking to you about is not from theoretical. I'm talking to you here because I have been there. I know what it smells like, how hard it is to win every day. And every day is like, well, coach, when is it ever going to be good enough? Never. That's what sucks. <laughs> The level up and trying to get better. Level up. Say level up. Level up. How hard is that every day incrementally to do the little things, to have the conversations, to set the standards and expectations, to win 125 wins in 18 lessons. And I'm, sorry, I'm not saying, look at me. I'm cool. I'm the man. I'm saying, no, why not you? Wow in whatever it is that you want to do, become and achieve in life, leadership, and business. Say win. Win. Say win. mindset. Mindset. Now say emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. Say emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. Say how I feel. How I feel. How many of us get hijacked by our feelings? Oh, yeah. 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 Woo. <laughs> how many times do we allow our feelings to hold us captive and terrorize our life? Versus now just going, just figuring it out. Our mind tells us, B, you're sorry, ass. <laughs> you couldn't even speak English. Now you think you're going to get paid $35,000 to $50,000 to go speak for eight hours? Who the hell do you think you are coming to SAR this morning trying to tell people that I've never done the shit? Y'all done? Something of value? No, the question is why not? How can? What are the possibilities? Everything is possible and nothing is impossible, right? But our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate, but also that we are powerful beyond measure. Because it is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us most. We ask ourselves, who am I? Who are we? Who, me? Brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and famous? Well, actually, who are you not to be? Because you are a child of God and you playing small does not serve the world. And there is nothing freaking enlightening about shrinking back so that other people will feel insecure around you. You were born to make manifest the champion that is within us. And it is not just in some of us. It is in all of us. 
And as you let your light shine, you unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As you are liberated by your own fear, your mere presence automatically liberates others. Say, E.I., e -I. How, I feel. how I feel. Look yourself, go like this, like you're looking at me. You better check yourself. Say it. You better check yourself. You better believe in yourself. And here's some real talk. Hey, look yourself in the mirror. I'm your coach. Be coachable. Okay? Say, because if you don't believe in you, say it. No one will believe in you. No one will believe in you. No one will believe in you. Yeah, say hashtag. Hashtag. Say real talk. Real talk. So that's two. Can we go? We got time for three more? We got time? We got time for three more? Yes. Say performance. 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 Say habits. Habits. Ooh, I teach this in terms of empowerment to success is this. Daily habits, activities, routines, automated tasks create flow. Yes. That flow creates momentum. And that momentum lifts you, the doer, to its next level of life, leadership, and business success. Say hashtag. Hashtag. Real talk. Real talk. Say don't just talk about it. Don't, don't just talk, talk about, about it. it. Say be about it. Be about it. Write down performance. Performance. Execution. Execution. Equals results. Equals results. Say hashtag. Hashtag. Real talk. Real talk. Our habits and these little habits, right? People ask me all the time. Man, Coach B, look at you, man. You're so good looking. Are you related to Dwayne Johnson? <laughs> Hell yeah. He the rock. They call me the pebble. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and look, you know us Polynesians. If you Polynesian and you successful, we claim your ass. But if you not successful, we ain't shit. <laughs> Say, that's that. <laughs> Real talk. Yeah. But if you in this room, and they talk about, oh, Chris Jeremy, you know him? No, man, I just don't know Chris. That's my cousin. That's my guy. That, we family, right? But how many people you ever say they claim somebody who's unsuccessful? Lazy. <laughs> Not a giver. Mm, mm -hmm. Selfish. Yeah. Does anybody claim those people? Mm -mm. No. Mm -hmm. Right? So be a doer. Activity is what I have found. You could lack um, the mindset and emotional intelligence the perspective and also the effective communication that I'll be covering next, you can lack you can lack that, but if you're a doer and a go-getter and somebody who actually does the shit they say that they're going to do, mm -hmm. those people develop the other parts. But you can have all other four, but you're not a doer, ain't shit gonna happen to you possibly. Right. And not because I say, oh, is that too harsh? Is that too harsh or can I be real? Be real. Say, keep it real, coach. Keep it real, coach. Right? So that's performance. And then write this down, calendar. Calendar. calendar and then write down time block your days this is the main thing that I get with people that right away I'll get with a CEO how many zoom meetings you got today this on Mondays what about Tuesdays Wednesdays Thursday Friday Saturday how many times on those zoom meetings are you actually saying anything engaging but you're spending hours on zoom meetings when you are the CEO of the company shit let the other people do their damn job and you go do what you do with the vital minutes in your life, leadership, and business. If you don't have an annual plan that's telling you what you're going to be doing this time next year in August, you're losing. If you don't have a time block for what you do for every hour of the day, that's today, Tuesday, you're losing. If you're not looking at the forecast of what you've got going on tomorrow, Tonight, waking up tomorrow morning and looking at that forecast and have a time block for tomorrow, you are actually ineffective and inefficient. But in America, you can shoot from the hip and make some money for a little while. But without process, replicable steps that replicate success, and the calendar replicates itself every year. How many times does summer come after spring? Yeah. All, All the time. time. How many every times year. does Tuesday come after Monday? Yeah. Every, every time. Week. Does uh, Christmas not ever come? No. no. So then the calendar that everybody in the world is working on, if you want to date something or do something on those dates, it won't work because you're not effective and efficient in the planning of your time. What you shoot for, you get. But who knows a lot of people look at the, they get a perfect shot, but at the wrong fucking target. Uh, <laughs> I've done that in my career, yes or no? Or am I the only one, yeah, right? But now have your activity be planned. And this is where I help my entrepreneurs really grow. 
because their ass is so good at what they do and they've done it for so many years, but they're still shooting from the hip with no strategy, no objectives, no timeline, no how much, who, what, where, when, how, and why. Coach B, I got to do all that? You're making a million dollars now a year? What if you do this? How much more effective will you be with your time? Say hashtag. Hashtag. Real talk. Real talk. Two more items. We got about eight minutes. We good? Good. Yes. Okay, five minutes? Okay, let's go perspective. Say perspective. perspective. Say how I see things. How I see Say things. attitude of gratitude. Attitude of gratitude. Man, ungrateful ain't gonna get you shit in life, leadership, business, sports, relationship, being a parent, or being a spouse. Nothing comes from being ungrateful. Negative, whining, complaining, and blaming. You know what's that attracted to that? Nobody. And definitely not money. Money is not attracted to that. But if, unless you have a vision for yourself, it's going to be very hard. You'll be living other people's vision for you. Is that true or not true? Mm -hmm. Okay, lastly, let's go effective communication. Say effective communication. Effective say how I say things. How I say Here's another Coach B quote for you. Write it down. Life is struggle. Struggle is life. Misery is optional. That'll help you with your perspective, and then it'll also <laughs> help you with how you talk to yourself. Life is struggle, struggle is life. Misery is optional, that's on my book, that's on Amazon. Life champion, life lessons that yield championship results. Now, we got about less than a couple of minutes here. So this is how effective communication works, right? It is the sending and or receiving information in the way that it was intended. How many times does that happen in corporate America? Not all the time. Because they don't practice it. They don't plan it. They don't have a plan of the who, what, where, where, how, and why. The content that they'll be speaking on. Like me. My PowerPoint doesn't even have to work. And I'll be ready to speak on what I speak on anywhere in the world to anyone. Right? I'm going to say a number clap that many times. Hands ready? Yes. Hands ready? Get your hands ready to clap. Don't spill your coffee on yourself or anything like that today. Okay? <laughs> ready? Hands ready? And one. One. Two. Stimulus and response, effective communication, the sending and or receiving information in the way that wasn't intended. So once you've been given the standards and expectations, now you must respond, you must act, you must perform. Hands ready? Yeah. And one, one, two, two, three, three, three. Oh, y'all coachable. Okay, one more. We're gonna add six to that. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and six. When I say six, you go one, two, three, one, two, three. Because three plus three equals six. There we go. Hey, we're smart. Mathematicians right here, boy. Ready? Hands ready? And one, two, three, six. Like now, when we say six, you're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. You're going to stand up out of your seat. And you're going to go empowerment. so you can be really equipped with the communication. <laughs> okay. Come on. Say one, two, watch this. Don't stand, just do the one, two, three, and six. Hands ready? Yeah. One. Can I do that? Yes. 
one quick promo in the poem. Okay, write down my number, 916-897-0427. Anybody who caught calls me for monthly coaching, it's normally 40 grand up front, $3,333 a session. You will be getting a 1,000% discount. You'll work with me for $300 a session, okay? Lastly, April, I'm gonna send April uh, my conference flyer. I'll be at District 56, 500 people. It's called Empowerment to Success Conference at District 56. It's April 10th, Thursday, all day event. Those tickets currently for early bird, all the way until three months out will be half off. So this is for 2025? 2025. Right. Put it on your calendar, love to have you. Okay, last poem, here we go. Okay, when things go wrong, as they most times will, and the road you're trudging seems all uphill. And when the funds are low and the decks are high and you want to smile but you have to sigh, when life is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Because life is weird with its twists and its turns as every one of us sometimes learns that many a person, they turn about when they might have one had they stuck it out. So don't give up though the pace seems slow, you will succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than it appears to a faltering woman or man. But you see the struggler, he or she has often given up when they might have captured the victor's cup, but they did not learn until the night came down how close they were to the golden crown because success is failure turned inside out. Yes. In the yeah. silver tint in this thing called doubt. And you never can tell how close you are because it may be right here, what seems so far. But stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. quit. My cell phone number, 916? 897-0427. One love, S-A-R. Yeah. L Grove, let's go, baby. One love, baby.